You're supposed to belly breathe. I thought that was the way to relax and to take deeper breaths. Well, I'm going to show you today why diaphragmatic breathing is not belly breathing and how to take a proper diaphragmatic breath. So the first thing that I want you to become aware of is that when you focus on belly breathing, filling your belly with breath, it takes the spine, the lumbar spine into its spine, I'm breathing into my belly it pulls my lumbar spine forward. And this is not my way to read. Instead, when you read diaphragmatically, you want to focus on the ribcage, not the belly. You want to focus on the ribcage, expanding in all directions. The main ribcage will make a point and expanding for the back. So if you look first, we're going to practice lying down the back. Then we're going to practice lying down the back. That's very important because this is the foundation of everything. How you're breathing, that's how you move. And if you want to learn advanced breath work, first you have the foundation of basic breath work. And then we build on that. Pillow if you like. And you're just going to let your shoulders, your neck, and your hips all relax. So being able to let the shoulders drop into good posture, a good position, so that the pressure on the front of the cage will help take a full breath. So now you want to take a full breath in. Now, take a full breath in. And feel your ribs expand into your hands. Try to expand your hands. And then you exhale. Let all of the air go out. And let your ribs aim down towards your pelvis. Let the bottom of your pelvis aim for your ankles. And breathe into the ribs. And let out. Just so you can feel the difference. Push your hands out of your belly. And breathe into your belly. And feel like you're going to allow for that. Okay. So this is the intention of trying to draw the breath down. This is the intention of trying to draw the breath down. Now just use the position. And once you do your breath work practice, proceed to the end. So simply like crossing your hands. See how tight it is. Taking up with the knee jerks. So you need to drop down the height. So now like this. Just going to pull your spine back down. And then adjust your pelvis so that the pelvic floor is parallel to the floor. Bring your ribcage to balance over your pelvis so that you get the center of your respiratory diaphragm, which is the diaphragm attached to the bottom of the ribcage. The very center of the ribcage is aligned with the center of the bottom of the pelvic floor. Then bring your head on top of that so the root of your mouth is aligned with the center of the ribcage, center of the pelvic floor, and front of that too. All those diaphragms are lined up. And so this is a position to breathe from. So you close your eyes, let all the air out of your nose. And practice breathing into the nose. And see if you can sense the side to side of the ribcage and the front of that even expansion. So just practice nose breathing. Feeling the expansion. You breathe out, notice feeling everything moving back in and down. And you notice your mind wandering from observing the sensation of breath. Just come back to watch it. You can practice Let go of the control breathing, open your eyes. Just notice the effects, how your body feels. You feel more calm. Now, if you feel like you're ready to do some more, you try to connect that with me. If you already feel like that was enough to try and do that expansion of the ribs, that's fine, you can come back another day. Otherwise, when you try to practice a slower count of breathing, when you try to practice breathing out for six seconds, breathing in for six seconds, and if you still feel a little relaxed with that, you can try adding a little pause. 